welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm gonna show you how i created this full makeup look it's a little bit of a chit chat get ready with me full look um, kind of video as you can see i'm back home i'm sitting again in my bedroom and uh, I just came back from the Netherlands back to Turkey I had an amazing time with my family, my friends, of course in Disneyland and I'm really excited to film with my new camera uh, a lot of new videos for you guys if you're new here on my channel I would love for you to subscribe it's totally free and then you can see all my new videos and for more girly content and other things you can also follow me on Instagram and now let's get started with the video so the first thing that I'm going to do is apply a primer and I'm using the Flormar Illuminating Primer like I always do and I apply it with my Real Techniques Face Expert brush so as you can maybe see my skin has been really trouble I got a lot of spots everywhere, a lot of redness and I know finally uh, why I got them and I got them because I've got some uh, health problems which I got some uh, shots for some vitamin shots and they cause a lot of acne and I never had in my life uh, acne problems not even when I was a teenager but now when I'm an adult at 25 years old I got a lot of spots going on of course I'm not so happy about it but the um, Thing that is most important is of course my health and if the uh, shots injections help me then of course some acne uh, well I can live with it it's not the prettiest but I don't have a choice have I <laughs> now I'm going to apply some foundation and I'm using my new foundation and this is from Maybelline the fit me matte poreless foundation and it's in the color 110 and I picked this up before I went to the Netherlands and I quite like this foundation I would say it's a medium coverage not really full but you can build it up quite nicely on Saturday morning I flew back to Turkey when I visited my family in the Netherlands I visited my family about uh, three and a half weeks one month and I was in the Netherlands and of course we went also to Disney in Paris and while I'm filming this my uh, first Disneyland vlog already went up and I'm really curious to hear if you guys like the vlog so sure let me know if you like the Disneyland Paris vlog and you can expect them every Saturday so if you like to see them also definitely make sure you subscribe so as you can see the foundation is quite nice quite a natural coverage it doesn't cover all of my spots as you can see but I quite like it it's not too heavy for a daily foundation also I'm just thinking about it this is the first time that I film on my new camera in my bedroom so you can see probably a lot better now and I'm really happy with the quality of course I already filmed some videos in the Netherlands and some in Disneyland Paris and um, yes I'm really happy with the quality I see a big difference now I apply some concealer on my spots and this is also from Maybelline it's the fit me uh, concealer so a little bit under the eyes and I again blend this in with my beauty blender Now I'm going to apply the uh, concealer for my under eyes and that's the Instant Anti-Age Erase Concealer in the color 0 Ivory So in most parts of uh, Europe it's already full weather like rainy and the leaves are on the ground but here in Turkey as you can maybe see by my clothes it is quite hot still but I still want to go for a full look so um, I will be using my Morphe 35F palette, full palette because I want to get a little bit in the full spirit although it's still hot here <laughs> 
Now I'm going to finish it off with some powder and I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and it's in the color 5 Silky Beige. And I'm going to apply it with my Makeup Studio brush. Now I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit. I'm quite pale already, so I'm going to use my all-time favorite Rimmel Natural Bronzer. And as you can see, I already hit the pen. I'm bronzing up a little bit on my forehead. Then I'm also using a shimmer brick bronzer and I'm using this um, a little bit like a blush because um, I think a shimmer bronzer looks really healthy on your cheeks. For fall I really like warm toned colors so for highlighter I'm going to use the I Heart Makeup Goddess of Love. And this is a really pretty golden shade. Ooh, look at that. Really nice warm toned highlighter. Like for the summer, but also for the fall. Really pretty color. Oh no, there's a fly. So now the face is done, and now I'm going to start with my eyes. And I always like to start with my eyebrows. And for that I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pro Mate. And I use the color Blonde. So what are your favorite makeup products for fall? Are you using any different beauty products? Or is it all year the same? I would also love to know if you are switching up your products. For full, I like to use always a little bit more warm toned kind of colors. Like maybe a little bit more uh, golden colors, uh, brown tones. So now that the eyebrows are done, I'm going to start with the eyeshadow. And like I said, I'm going to use the Morphe 35 f palettes. And it's this palette, I have it for quite, quite a while, but if I can find it, I will put a link down below. And this is the palette, you can see there's a lot of beautiful warm toned colors, a lot of golden colors, but also a lot, of, a lot of red tones, purple tones, and I think this is so pretty for the fall, actually all the fall colors are in here. I don't really have a look that I want to go for. But um, yes, let's play and see uh, what we are going to make. So first of all, I'm going to start with a transition shade and I'm using these two colors. And I'm going to blend them here in the outer corner of my eyes to the inside. And I think this is a really pretty transition shade. So now I took these two colors and I mainly concentrate on the outer corners of my eyes and I just blend this together with the other shades so that there are no harsh lines. Now for under my eyebrow and in the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to choose a white shimmery shade. And it's not white white, but a little bit more of a champagne kind of shade. And I am going to apply this first underneath my eyebrow. And also a little bit in the inner corner of my eye. I think this makes the look a lot more fresh. Now I'm going to choose a shade for my eyelid. And I want to go for a brown golden color. And I think I'm going to go for... Hmm, let's go for this one. A little bit more of a bronzy shade. And I'm going to apply this all over my eyelids. Oh, this is 
also really pretty shades. Now I'm going to get again my blending brush and I am blending all of the shades together so there are no harsh lines. So now that the eyeshadow is done, I'm also going to apply some eyeliner. And I have to be honest with you, I wasn't always really into winged eyeliner. By other people I thought it was beautiful, but by myself I think it's a little bit too harsh or something. But lately I've been playing with it and I kind of like it, so I'm going for a small wing today. Just a small little wing. I'm sorry if the angle kind of changed, but my battery ran out while I was doing my eyeliner. But um, now I'm going to apply some mascara and I'm using my Essence I Heart Crazy Volume Mascara. I really like this mascara. I use it for so many years, but I think it's so great. Also, my lips are terribly dry. I think it's about the plane. There's like air conditioning or something like that. It makes it really dry. I already uh, applied some Vaseline, but it's not really working. And now I'm going to align my lips with the Essence Lip Liner and it's in the color 11. It's a really pretty nude color. Now I'm going to use a MAC lipstick and this is in the color Mare. And this is also a really pretty natural shade. Mm. My lips are really really dry. I think this color is really pretty for the fall, a little bit of a darker nude. And the last thing that I'm going to do is using the MAC Pix Plus to set my makeup. So this is my full makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and of course you can also follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!